Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK, welcome back to High Fleet, our hard campaign. Um, I accidentally started the game before uh, I started the recording, so by accident I have already gone to Haran and uh, taken, because we'd already wiped them out with a few aircraft, so uh, I've proceeded over there, finished off the last guy and landed and we've got some intel on Donbass. Donbass is now coming back up to the north and um, we're going to have to attack this guy. There's no two ways about it. We're going to have to do him as much damage as possible. If I get some intel, again, it's given us a blank carpet roll over here. I still want to go to Uma because we want to head over to Galid and take out the Fleet HQ there. But um, yeah, I think we're going to have to deal with Donbass first. We do have some KH-15s, etc. We have um, some aircraft that we can throw at him. And if I go down to the surface, you can see that we've met a Tarkan here. If I can get this guy to join us as well, we'll have a lot of aircraft. A group of swordsmen spot you from afar away. They greet you in full uniform, masked, their weapons at their sides. This is how the clans traditionally meet their guests. It is a professional necessity for Garati pirates. In the name of issue, peace be with you. So this will give my guys more faith. If I say glory to Garat, that will boost our Garat's rating. At the moment, nothing is good. Order and wealth are about the only two things that are working. Faith is level one, actually. Let's do that then. Let's push our faith up a little bit. And he leans towards faith. That was a lucky start. I seek allies to wage war on Kiva. Would the Hissids be interested? Let's give him a gold elephant. Yes, he likes wealth. That was a good, good gamble. So we have one star. How the weak appealed to justice to undermine the strong. Uh... We got a lot of turns, but really rubbish options. The weak appealed to justice to undermine the strong. Does he like justice? He's lawless. Okay, so we're quite lucky. The great future that awaits all the peoples of Garat. Is he a... Yes, he's a very proud Elaine. Superb. We could be up to nine here. Look at that. We're up to ten. And the untold riches that await the victor in Garat. That should give us maximum points, I think. Look at that. What a start. Well said, Duke. Good speech, plus three. It's up to 14. 15. I don't know why this can't just keep going. It would give us too many points, I guess. There's a guy northeast of here, so Nadir Beck joins us with a longbow, and we now have a formidable strike force in terms of aircraft. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. Whilst we're refueling, I think I need to get to Uma. I think that makes sense. Grab some more of these big heavy bombs. Some of these aircraft rockets, which we haven't had any of for ages. 122 mil, we don't have any ships with that. 180 mil laser. Uh, 100 mil armor piercing, 100 mil uh, incendiary. Okay. So we think he's here, so let's send a single tester. And they most certainly are here. So I'm going to get him to retreat. Hopefully they won't notice he's there. And um, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and take him out. I'm going to try and wipe him out without sending any rocket. Now we may lose a few aircraft as a result. But hopefully we'll have them all taken out. They're all big, slow, heavy ships, so we should hit them quite easily. 
Good start. We did lose a ship, but um, can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, oh, that seems to be an extra ship. Where did that come from? The enemy has been destroyed. Oh, going for the big bad boy, huh? Good job. Let's get him on fire. Start that. Uh, start that internal combustion explosion. That's what we want. Oh yes! Look at this. Three ships going for him. I think I'll retreat those boys, even though they only did a small amount of damage. Just want to keep the ships. Oh, one more. Retreat, retreat. Trying to see if there's any damage there. I think he's still in one piece. Okay. Oh dear, what is this that's just popped up on the radar? Okay, your morale is low. You're not going. Spiky, Paladin, Intrepid. It's a prize ship. So he's given away our location, but we get him for free. And we're not planning on being here for very much longer anyway. So that could work out pretty well. All right, let's get back to base. A few pennies in the penny bank. How are we doing here? Morning. Radar emission detected. They're on the move. They're at 120, which means they're about here, so they're heading up here to Fleet HQ, I guess. I don't know if they have missiles or not. We need to go to Uma. Or do we need to go here and get faster repairs first? It's tricky, isn't it? Tricky deciding what's the right thing to do. I think I'd hate to be a real general, as much as I'd like it. You know, when there's real people's lives at stake, that's going to make life very difficult. Yes, I know he wants to talk with me. That's another thing I'm trying to do. Let's get over here and see what's going on with that. Yeah, now what? Damn it. They've uh, encrypted it again. Fortunately, I can crack this one immediately because it's position. P. S. N. There we go. Donbass, speed 80. So what's there? Is it... Hmm, I don't know what is there. Send a little aircraft out there to find out. Is that a prize? I think that might be a prize, you know. Right, now, this is where my super ship comes into play. Watch this. This should work. I'm going to send a decoy with a speed of 600 miles per hour, almost as fast... There's an aircraft, and I'm going to send him over there. You dickhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that ball's up, and I'll tell you why. Because the game thought I was asking him to align with... Um, 
with the aircraft instead of go to the city. I hate that. It catches me out all of the bloody time. Right, we're going to ask him for more repairs. And more repairs again. Because there's no point in having four stars. You can't go above four stars. But now we've got loads and loads and loads of repair points. I could get some intel points off him, but that's pointless. Ask for shelter. Yes. Tell me about a hidden city. Beautiful. That's where we're heading, guys. I can't get there right now, but that is where we're heading. Thank you. Oh my god, what is going on here? So I can see there's quite a few guys here, look. It'd be nice if we could uh, take some of them out. Why do you throw the bombs at the little ship instead of the big ships that are there? Why do you have to be so bloody awkward? Right, that Elin is going mental, which makes me think that he's right here. Which makes me very nervous indeed. There he is. Yes, attack the strike group. Wow, he caught us up so quickly there, didn't he? Fair play to him. That was a good move. Pick out the big nasty one and we've got a bloody good chance of winning this battle. The enemy has been destroyed. Thank you very much. If we can get these down to just two, we've really got a good chance. If I can just take them out all together, I'll be laughing. We've got four bombs on us here. We could take out two of these if they're smart. Oh, okay. Just one if they're not. Okay, I have one more ship here. Obviously the Elin is going absolutely mental. pounds of bombs that's a big hole look at that anything else hits that and that's going to go kaboom there is the really damaged one obviously my ship is going to go for the one that's not damaged although it was listing quite a bit so maybe he's damaged as well Okay, well, look, I have one more ship. Warning, radar emission detected. Saying that he's at 210 now, it's 
bring them down this way. I have no idea where they are exactly. They've turned their radar off. They're running away. I've never seen a strike group run away before, but they are now. This is good stuff. Now, we don't know who they are exactly, do we? Attention. Visual contact. Oh, crap. So this could be... Yes, it's a prize ship with no convoy whatsoever. That's what my ships are for, these little beauties here. I've just captured that ship with absolutely zero effort. Now we go back to base. That's another 10,000 in the kitty. But the Elint is going mental, which means there are other ships coming this way. So I'm going to head over here. We're going to send not the decoys, not the paladin. We're going to send the spiky, not the intrepid, and the hunter. 98% chance, get rid of the decoy. That's what's so good about these ships, is they almost guarantee... Oh, crap, crap, crap. Guarantee that you'll get in there without them seeing you. Oh, it hasn't worked out. 98% chance of success, and we failed. I don't know what I was doing there. I know what I, know what I was trying to do, but uh, that was an incredibly poor attempt. Geister. Where's my retreat point? Right, we did it, we did it, we did it. Took a lot of damage. Lost a lot of men. <sighs> Starting to rush. I need to stop rushing. Uh, the D80, it'd be nice if we could grab that. Ammunitions, fuel, the AK-100. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to try, oh we've got loads of fuel look, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to try and uh, there's Granite, who, actually we know Donbass is up here as well don't we, that's who we were just fighting with I think, and Granite, oh, Granite were all the way down here, bloody hell they were. Unless there are two ships named the same thing, as we've already discovered is an annoying possibility. Right, so we have to send ships. We have to try and wipe out this strike group situation. But also I want to make them think that we're here, if I can. And then we're going to go over here. Oh, we could do that now, really. Couldn't we? The growing cold. Piotr approaches you, clearing, 
clear, clearly preparing himself for a difficult discussion. It's getting very cold on the ships, he begins. The Grand Duke for our crusade, I must ask your permission to keep the turbines running idle, even while docked. Are you saying we should keep burning fuel at all times? Yes, my Duke, at low rates, responds the weary general. If it means the men won't freeze, I've been to sick bay, it's filled to the brim. Very well, you have my permission. And the crew is clearly relieved to hear your orders. Morale plus five, that's a massive plus. All right, so we've got enough to get to Galid. I won't grab any more than that. Hopefully we've got a few little bits we can sell. DAT, AK-100. Quite a lot of bombs and stuff now. Dang, we took a lot of slaps on that one, didn't we? Right, we do not have long. I've got to get here and fast. This has to go well. Oh! Oh, wow. He avoided it somehow. So this is another strike group. This is a second strike group. We've already taken out one. Well, we knocked them down to their last couple of last couple of ships, and I think there's a bit of damage on this one, which suggests that is the same same enemy. And we are going to lose ships here. We are going to lose aircraft. There's no two ways about it. But if we can take this out. That's a massive plus. Didn't like that one. Ammo explosion. That is starting to set fires off all over the place. It's looking decidedly unhappy there. That makes me happy. Oh, they've swapped around. It's annoying. Survived it. Well, they've taken a pasting, but they're still there. I've got two KH-15s. They're in range. I'm going to fire them. And then as soon as we have enough fuel, we're, we're moving. Son of a bitch. Nice, that's the big that's the big boy gun. Let's get an R3 in there. I'm surprised he survived that, I really am. Right, what's going on? Talk to me. Topaz, in 10 hours, speed 110, heading north northwest. Cargo military equipment requires on arrival. So. He's over here somewhere, I don't know where exactly. We're going to the hidden city. Uh, there's no two ways about it. We need to get out of dodge, as it were. How are we doing on aircraft? Nice. So we do some big, big damage here. 
Good start. Great job. Keep going like that, and we'll have them all out. That'll be two strike groups gone. Why is there only one ship? What's going on here? That's confusing. So where's the rest of them? Oh, that's weird. So there was just one solitary ship left from the first strike group, I guess. Oh, wow, they took out both of our ships there. Okay, this is actually going to be tougher than I thought. I thought we'd nearly wipe them out. Turns out we've only just started. Ah, oh, there's a flipping prize ship turned up, look. Would you, Adam and Eve it? Stop being an idiot. Get stuck in. Send in the rest. Now there's only two of them. Oh, nice. I think that is uh, a... Okay, that's a missile. Uh, let's get a tactical feedback. There's definitely tactical ships up there. Oh, this could be bad. Survive! Is he dead? I think we lost him finally. I really ought to put some uh, defences on those ships. But we've lost our first ship. And it was a decoy, and that's what they're there for. Okay, that's... Relatively good information. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get moving. I think we've got uh, another strike group down here because that missile came from that general direction. Well, I didn't have to do anything. That really confused me. Yeah, son of Saidi wishes to speak with me. I know. I've heard... Damn it. They're not there anymore. That's a bit of a concern. Where the bloody hell have they gone then? Granite. Flying north, northwest. That's coming from over there, so I guess they've headed this way. Now, I've not been doing my own chart keeping, so let me uh, let me just come all the way back here and just remind myself where I've been.
Okay. At speed 110 route, Rafat, Uma, Jabuk, or should. Yeah, we're not we're not interested in that. We got other 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 things to deal with right now. So I'm gonna say two ships heading this way. Two ships heading this way. Just see if we can find them. And we'll go speak to the hid hidden people. Morale plus two. Some KH-15 missiles, R-5 Zenith missiles, nice. Some bombs, we got lots of bombs, so many bombs. Let's make sure we got plenty of those. Okay, can we get any repairs done here? 38 hours. That's okay, because we can stay here as long as we like, they say. That would be nice. We are going to need some fuel, though. Enough to get to Galid, at least. Oh, look, some more of those lovely big bombs. Oh, that's rockets. Oh, yeah, we haven't had any rockets for ages. I'm sure I bought some, though, so I'm not sure what happened to those. Okay. Let's hope these aircraft pick up on the enemy. Ah, arrival, 7 hours, speed 110, my route, Gilead Uma Jabuk. No Rafat. Okay, well maybe we can send... Yeah, maybe not. So I've lost track of our enemy. Uh, last time we knew where they were was, I think, over here. Make that smaller. Make that smaller, because these are way too big. Okay, so we're refueling. What do we know? Topaz moving north northwest with cargo. Okay, that's great, but I don't really. Focusing on that right now. We are going to send ships to Galid. Because even though we've been asked to go there, I feel like there's a an aircraft carrier there. It's going to try and trip us up. The enemy has been destroyed. It's a nice start. There's five of them here, so we definitely want to take some out. Be nice if you could skip this bit. Takes too long sometimes. Wow, there's still five. So how many were there? Or six, maybe? I can't tell. Good job I sent some ships in, some aircraft in. It's 
even the odds a little bit, isn't it? Okay, so now they're airborne. I very much doubt we'll get a direct hit, so I'm just going to save that ship. Try and loosen these guys up a little bit too. So they're airborne, which is annoying. So he took a good hit. But we can come in here and take these out. I'm not scared of these guys at all. See if we can take out one more of these. Nah. Save it. They're too fast. We'll never hit them. It's a waste of bombs and potentially a waste of aircraft. Okay, how's the morale? Morale is maximum. 32 hours for repairs to finish. And it looks like there are loads of cargo ships in this area. nice when you crack them immediately like that. In approximately 12 hours, at speed 90, require an arrival, galvanised pipes, 180 metres off. Cavcaz. So Cavcaz is over here. Cavcaz is finally catching up with us. This is a little bit annoying because I was trying to stay ahead of all these guys, and now it seems like they've caught us all up. Is that Cavcaz there? Yes it is. We'll move this right up here. Grab the other end of it. So, pretty sure that Cav Kaz is now at Haran or thereabouts, and they're all heading north. That's one strike group we haven't given a good bloody nose to yet. Okay, let's go. Ah, just out of my range, look. Such a shame. The Neb. Heading north north west with cargo. That's probably there. Now what's interesting is we don't have enough fuel. Oh look. Even though I'm sure I bought enough to get to uh, Gilead. So I guess aircraft do use fuel. That's all I can conclude from that. The Neb. Pretty sure the neb was there. Uh, an enemy fighter, wasn't it?
strike group? I can't remember. So many ships have lost track. But they're all coming north. Doesn't matter what else I say, they're all coming north. Ten hours and then we can move. Just thought of something really important. Really important. Yeah, I thought as much. We don't have any bloody missiles installed. Quite important that I fix that. How long? Four hours. Okay, that's good. Finally, we are ready to leave. We're going to stand Bikey and Hunter. That's a bit of a problem. It looks like there's more ships there than there should be. There's a prize ship there. Oh no, I sent the decoy by accident. And it doesn't look like we have any bombs. Oh, maybe we do. Yeah, I think we do. close. Nah. Oh, that was so many bad things happened at once there. This is bad. I need to retreat. Oh, not more missiles. Come on. Come on. Good job, chaps. I'll take over from here. Son of a bitch. Nearly got me there. The enemy has been destroyed. That was pretty intense. I'm rushing now. I'm rushing too much. Understand you have to wait. Okay, so we took a bit of damage there. A new Tarkan. Your guards escort you escort a visitor into the mess hall of your ship. Everyone falls silent the moment he steps inside. They cannot help but recognize this well tailored uniform bearing the insignia of a high rank in the gathering fleet. Please allow me to introduce myself, Grand Duke. I am Admiral Wan. Until recently I was the commander of the gathering's second Eastern Squadron. 
A gathering officer. A former gathering officer. I was relieved of duty two years ago to dis disagreements with high command. I now command a group of others like me, so to speak. We are all far former gathering officers and soldiers who happen to have a falling out with our superiors. Admiral Wan, was it? Could you tell me your full name, Admiral? My apologies, Grand Duke, but now is not the time. Everyone calls me Wan. This is the only name I can give you for the time being. Admiral Dow pulls you aside for a moment. He speaks quietly. If I may, my Duke, he has the accent of someone from the Inner Territories. Trusting him could prove to be very dangerous. We are at war with Kiva, Admiral. Perhaps we could be allies. You have my full attention. Speak your mind. Now, is he a Garati? That's the question. He hates Elames. Great. Loves wealth. Okay, that's lucky. The great destiny of the Romani is a proud Romani. Yes, okay. The untold w riches. Oh, okay. He's a cruel person. We didn't do enough to get a star. That is a shame I could have done with him. So he's positive towards us, but he's not going to join us. And there are more Tarkans to the northeast. He did give us 6,000 gold, though. So that was rather nice of him. So a couple of bits we can sell there. And, uh, yeah, quite a few repairs we need to uh, muster. A little bit of fuel. Oh, I'll take some more of these nice big fat bombs. And basically, as soon as we're ready, we're going to go to Galid. Oh, hello. Two messages at the same time. The Nev, arrival in nine hours, 144 in the route. Uma, Chabok, Haran. That's not the route we're taking. Uma, Jabok. Where the hell's Jabok? Oh. Uma, Jabok, Uran. Heavy machinery, look forward to meeting Sparrowhawk. Okay, well, I've taken that city. So maybe we can just send a decoy with a lot of fuel. And if, he, if he's alone, we can just take it. Oh, that's us. We have enemy up here. Okay, yeah, that's a serious problem. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough fuel. Right, so we met up with the with the ships I was talking about. Wow, two prize ships there. Look, oh no, I forgot. This is the wrong one. This one has no side steering on it. So I've just lost this ship. I need to I needed to delete this ship, I forgot. I thought I had deleted it to be honest. It's got no side steering, so it can only go up and down. That's so irritating. There's nothing I can do there. I mean, I could have tried it a couple of times to see if maybe uh, we could get in a lucky position where I could just fly straight up in the air.
I'm going to hold on to those guys. Right, so they're airborne. That was a nice start. Yeah, take the big heavy ones first. Nice. Four bombs coming your way, sir. Good job. We can take those three out on our own, no problem. See if that clears the e-lint. It doesn't clear the e-lint, which means something else is tracking radar signals. Good effort. Unlucky. Yes, a strike group. No Intrepid, just Spikey, no Paladin. We'll take the Hunter. It'd be so nice if I could just set this up every time to be the same. Or have, you know, strike group one, strike group two, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it looks like I don't have any useful stuff here. Sneaky and cheeky and rude. How did he survive that? Ah, all my guns have gone. Go down, damn it, go down. I did not do very well there. Very disappointed with that little battle. Disassemble the hull. Absolutely. Secure ammunition. Secure the fuel. Okay, we're here. We take the missiles out. We need to fuel up and we need to get the hell out of Dodge. I need to try and get some repairs on that ship if I can. It's pretty much every penny we have. A few thousand there, though. And a few more thousand off the nuclear... Missiles, which I don't particularly want. Make sure we got plenty of fire extinguishers, though. Look at the damage I took here. That's so dumb. So dumb to let that happen.
Okay, that concludes this episode. Unless the game's crashed. Thank goodness for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Join me again for the next one. Take care. Till then, goodbye for now.